So this is a flight into Tansnat Airport and everything went correctly and this was a high speed descent so it's a good example to show how to do that. Okay, so let's have a look at the situation. We are passing flight level 140, actually it is an altitude here, so 14,000 feet and uh, the quiet high speed of uh, 330 knots and the distance is uh, 54 nautical miles at the moment. So let's calculate for 50 miles. So 50 times 3 is flight level 150 minus 3000 feet to slow down um, because we are near three, 300 knots. So that makes flight level 120. So at 50 miles we should be at flight level 120. Now it looks like that's going to be fine. Okay. So you can see that it doesn't add up with the VDEF because the VDEF is calculated uh, for a different speed here. And okay, so we are slightly faster though than 300 knots, so perhaps we are high on profile. There's a bit of a tailwind here and the weight is 64.2 tons, so that's a normal weight. Uh, actually, it's a little bit high, it's a bit, a bit on the high side. And um, so next calculation we can do for uh, 30 miles. So again, we're doing a high speed descent, so uh, cleared uh, by ATC. So we don't have to slow down to 250 knots below uh, 10,000 feet. And um, Okay, so you can see that we are, uh, for the VDEF, we're starting to go below profile. But it, this is only because this, this VDEF profile is calculated for a different speed. Because we are, we are faster, we are actually still on profile. So you cannot always rely on the VDEF like that, especially not when you do a high speed descent. So, okay, so next we will be at uh, 40 miles. So let's do a profile calculation for that. So 40 times 3 is flight level 120. We will be at 300 knots then. So 3000 feet lower. So we should be at 9000 feet. Now you can see already we're at 9000 feet. And, but there's also a little bit of uh, tailwind here. So maybe that will cancel each other out. Okay, so, so let's skip ahead a little bit. Okay, so here I use vertical speed because we are getting a slightly below profile here. If you do the calculation, you will find out that you may be 500 feet low or something. So I reduce the vertical speed a little bit to go back on profile because this is the thing with a high speed descent. It usually will end up below profile because the aircraft uh, generates more drag and it's a bit uh, the same effect as a speed break, so to say. So, okay, uh, but don't forget to uh, go later to open the send again. You cannot use um, descent mode in this case because it will just, with that speed, it will just climb back onto the VDEF. But now you're high on energy because, that, again, that VDEF profile, the yo yo, is not calculated for high speed. So, in this case, you have to do that yourself. So, here comes 30 miles. So, let's do a calculation for 30 miles. 30 times 3 is 9,000 feet, and uh, minus 3,000 feet to slow down because we're doing 300 knots is um, 6,000 feet. So, at 30 miles, we should be at 6,000 feet. It looks like that's going to be okay. Perhaps again, slightly below profile. So here's 30 miles. And no, actually, we're exactly on profile. Good. So now we start to slow down. For, for our company, we have to be uh, maximum 250 knots at 5,000 feet. Okay, so time to slow down. And uh, let's skip ahead ag uh, again to see what profile calculation we can do. Okay, so now. We're at 5,000 feet and uh, back on the VDEF profile here. And we can calculate for, let me see if we can calculate for 20 miles now. So at 20 miles, we actually start to reduce the green node speed. So uh, in this case, we cannot do that calculation. Perhaps we can do it for 25 miles, but uh, either way, we're on profile. Okay, so from this moment on, it will be sort of a, a normal normal approach again. So let's let's continue. So at 15 miles, we'll be at green dot speed. So 15 times 3, it, just memorize this is 4,500 feet. And at uh, green dot speed, you should fly 1,000 feet lower. So this should be 3,500 feet. So at 15 miles, we should be at 3,500 feet. Looks like that's going to be okay because we're now at 4,000 feet with a few miles to go. Let's skip ahead a bit. And so that is 15 miles and uh, almost exactly at uh, 3,500 feet. So we're on profile. Also the time to select flap one at 15 miles. So we got flap one selected. We now go to vertical speed and reduce the um, speed. Now we can see because we are a little bit heavy, the margin between VFE next and S speed is not so high. It's also a bit turbulent. So in this case, knowing that um, we should fly, it's best to fly a, a level segment at 3000 feet. 
uh, this will prevent the speed from running away and um, preventing a flap over speed. So uh, apart from that, uh, we can fly the approach in two ways or select flap two in two, uh, two different points. Either you are a bit below profile and then you reduce the vertical speed. So to put the aircraft one dot below the glide slope, once it is one dot below the glide slope, increase the vertical speed, how much? Half the ground speed. So it, so it stays one dot below the, grind, uh, below the glide slope. And then when you pass 3000 feet, you select flap two. That's one way. The other way is you fly level at 3000 feet and then you wait for the glide slope to come in. And then when it's one dot below the glide slope, then you select flap two. So in this case, it looks like we can just reduce the vertical speed and then um, keep it at one dot. And then when we pass 3000 feet, select flap two. But because we are so heavy, this might not be a good idea because we might overspeed the flaps because the margin between the VFE next and S speed is so little. So instead, what I do is I increase the vertical speed a bit to uh, dive down a bit to 3000 feet. There we go. And then at 3000 feet, uh, fly level. There you go, via zero. So, so now I make sure that the speed stays at S speed and not higher because I, I need that margin uh, to prevent the flap over speed. And I'm going to wait for the glide slope until it's one dot below the glide slope and then I'm going to ask for flap two. So there you go. There's one dot below the glide slope. Flap two, please. Okay, speed checked. Flap two. So flap two is selected and you can see here that we have a sufficient margin with VMAX so we don't overspeed the flaps. Okay, the aircraft will balloon a bit with flap two. That's normal. It always does that. It goes into glide slope star. So now we want to uh, check when we uh, have to lower the gear. So if the speed is uh, halfway in, in the speed range, uh, halfway upward, we lower the gear 2,500 feet. And if it's halfway downwards, taking the wind into account, we can lower the gear 2,000 feet. It looks like the speed is a bit on the high side here. And there's also a little bit of a tailwind. So it looks like it's, a, it's probably a good idea to lower the gear at 2,500 feet. So let's skip ahead a little bit more. And there you go, 2,500 feet gear is selected down. And now we are waiting for um, three greens and then we can select flap three, no later than 1,800 feet. But again, if the speed is a bit fast, it's better not to delay the flap selection. So as soon as the flap, as, as soon as the speed is below uh, v, uh, VFV next with a certain margin, then you can ask for the next flap stage. But uh, anyway, the speed is not that high here, so I'm going to wait a bit more. So there's flap three and soon uh, we can select flap full. There you go. Flap full selected. And now you want to be stable at uh, ideally 1500 feet to give yourself a bit more margin. And um, let me see, I'm skip, ahead, skip ahead a bit. Yeah, so there we go. So we got flap full, uh, gear down, fully configured, speed on target at 1500 feet. That was it. I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching. If you like this video, please consider buying my book, Practical Descent Energy Management. It contains loads of examples of how to manage a descent and approach, and it is the only book available on this subject. There is a paperback and an ebook version available. You can find a link in the description below.